Hello friends, welcome to Freedom Homestead. My name is Tangie, for those of you who are new here. As the title implies, this video is part of the Canuary collaboration started by my good friend Lisa Sutton over at Sutton's Days. Uh, today I am making for you chicken pot pie filling. And this recipe can actually be used many different ways. It does not have to be just chicken pot pie filling. You can make, uh, you can use it as a soup base. You can make chicken and dumplings from it. Um, you can do chicken and biscuits. I mean, really, you're only limited by your imagination. So let's get in the kitchen. We do have construction happening today and it is super loud. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do the work and then I will voice over later so that way I know you will be able to hear me. So first, let's talk about ingredients. Then we're gonna talk about instructions. And then we're gonna talk about pressure canning. And then I will show you what it looks like coming out of the canner. All right, so let's get to it. The recipe I'm gonna share with you today can be found in the Pressure Canning for Beginners and Beyond by Angie Schneider, and it's on page 131. You guys, this cookbook is incredible. She did not pay me to say this, <laughs> but I will leave the link to this book down in the description box below. It has incredible recipes, easy to follow instructions, and it's perfect for people who are just getting started with canning and folks who have been canning for ages. Okay, so let's talk about the ingredients. This recipe calls for 12 cups of chicken broth, two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs or breasts cut into cubes or strips, whatever your preference is, two cups of cut green beans, two cups peeled and diced potatoes, two cups peeled and diced carrots, two tablespoons of non-iodized salt, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, and one teaspoon of dried thyme. Since we are not harvesting from the garden right now, it is January and this morning we woke up with a dusting of snow on the ground. I had to buy fresh green beans from the store. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually sorting through the beans, making sure that there's none that are yucky with gross spots. So what I'm doing is I'm prepping these carrots to rinse off and then I can start chopping. Uh, so I'm cutting the ends off of these carrots here. I love these carrots. I get them in bulk at Sam's Club. They're the big organic carrots that you get. Uh, it's like $3 for five pounds. It's a crazy awesome deal. The carrots are huge and they're so good. Today I am using red skin potatoes and I'm sure you could use russets. Red skin potatoes are thin skinned and most people will just scrub them really, really well and then chop them and leave the skins on. I don't want to risk missing any particle of dirt, so I am just gonna go ahead and peel these. Now the fun part, it is time to chop. I'm gonna speed this up and put some pretty music over it. Now we are going to combine all of our ingredients, including the seasonings, into a large stock pot. And we're going to bring this to a boil over medium high heat and boil for 10 minutes. Thank you. 
As my 10 minute cook time draws to a close, I go ahead and get my jars ready. I like to sanitize mine in an oven at 170 degrees for at least 15 minutes. time to fill the jars. You want to make sure that you evenly divide the solids into the jars and then ladle the broth leaving one inch of head space. Be sure to debubble the jars, then wipe your rims with a paper towel or a cloth that's been dampened with some white vinegar. Add your clean lids and your bands. These quart jars will process for 90 minutes. Your PSI, of course, is determined by your altitude. If you aren't sure what that is, then you can either Google it or call your local county extension office for more information. Once they have processed, you're going to allow your canner to depressurize naturally, and then remove the jars and let them cool on the counter for at least 12 hours. To serve this winter winter chicken dinner, I've got the instructions in the description box below, but you're going to pour the broth into a stock pot, heat it up with a, some sort of thickening agent, then add the solids in. You can pour it into a pie shell, you can serve it with biscuits, whatever you want. I want to take a moment and thank Miss Lisa again for inviting me to be part of this year's Canuary collaboration. I know that many of us look forward to it every single year. And I also want to remind all of you that there is a giveaway going on. So be sure to leave a comment and then comment on all of the videos from this collaboration. And at the end of the month, Lisa will randomly select a video from the collaboration. And from that video, she will randomly choose a commenter. And that commenter will win a 23 quart pressure canner. I will have the playlist down in the description box below, as well as the video that explains the giveaway. Good luck to you and thank you so much for joining me. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you give this recipe a try. Don't forget to check out the Pressure Canning for Beginners cookbook by Miss Angie Schneider. And I want to thank her for allowing me to use this recipe to share with all of you. Um, and if you want a copy of that book, there are some fantastic recipes and I want to just cook through the whole cookbook. It is awesome. Um, I will leave an affiliate link down in the description box below for that if you want to check it out. And you can also follow her on Instagram and she has a blog and I will leave all of that information down below for you. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Until next time, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.